Good morning, everyone. So uh, today we will be uh, talking about the gradient and the y-intercept of straight line graphs. Okay. So th something you should know is that the gradient shows the steepness of the line. What does that mean? So if we have a look at these three lines over here, okay. Imagine they are roads or hills. Okay. If you have a car, would you be able to go up this hill? maybe but that would be a bit difficult okay so that is very steep so it has a large gradient if we have a look at the red line okay it's not that bad it's like a normal hill so that has a small gradient okay it's not that steep the green is steeper than the red but not as steep as c okay so steepness okay come away off in Maltese now, which line has the greatest greatest gradient? So the greatest gradient, all right, C has the greatest gradient because it is the steepest. Literally, we of. So C because it is the steepest. Now, which line has the smallest gradient? Now, for a small gradient, it's the least steep this is very steep this is still steep but this is much better it's less steep okay so smallest gradient line b the red one now if the line is like this like this this or this it means it has a positive gradient positive if the number is greater than zero like one two three okay so a line would be like that going that way Okay. If the gradient is negative, so negative means numbers less than zero, like minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. Okay, the line would be like this one. You see this one? It's going in that direction, not this direction. Okay, so that has a negative gradient. Okay, so if we look at these, a line like this has a positive gradient, a line like that has a negative gradient okay also what does a zero gradient mean zero gradient it means it's a road that is not steep okay so it's a horizontal line that's a zero gradient now let's talk about y intercept what is the y intercept y intercept we've already mentioned it in a previous question it is where the line meets the y-axis so if we have a look at this diagram over here this is the y-axis okay this is the line now where the line meets the y-axis it's this point over here they are meeting up at number three that is called the y-intercept and the y-intercept in this case is three that's why intercept is three okay now, what is the y-intercept of each line here? So, this is the y-axis. This is the line. The line and the y-axis are meeting up at number 2. So, y-intercept here is 2. Also, if I ask you to write the coordinate as a coordinate, okay? That is 0, x-axis. We're not moving on the x-axis. And y will go up to What do you think of this one? Okay, what is the y-intercept over there? So that's where the line meets the y-axis. So it's this point over here. We have 2, 1, 0. So this is minus 1. That's the y-intercept. Okay, and if I had to write the coordinate of that point, what would it be? I think the coordinate would be 0 and we go down to minus 1. Okay, every time we have a y-intercept, we mentioned it last time, the x value is going to be a 0 because it is a value on the y-axis. Now, if the y-intercept is 0, 
What does that mean? If the y intercept is zero, it means that the line is passing through zero, and that is called the origin. So if it is zero, the line is passing through the origin. And the coordinate of the origin is 0, 0. X is always 0 for the y-intercept. Okay? So, that's a quick revision on what is the y-intercept, what is the gradient. Now we're going to see the equation of a straight line. Now, the equation of a straight line is made up of y equals mx plus c. So, um... M represents the gradient. Gradient, okay? So that letter, which is written, that number, which is written, okay, multiplied by x there, so the coefficient of x, is called the gradient. This constant over here, the plus c, is called the y-intercept. Okay? So the letter with x, the number with x, m, okay, presented by m is the gradient. That number on its own is called the y-intercept. So let's have a look at these questions over here. We're going to find the gradient, we're going to find the y-intercept, and we're going to try and draw a sketch to get an idea. So, let's start. We have y equals minus 6 plus 2x. Which one do you think is the gradient? I told you the gradient is the coefficient of x, that number multiplied by x. So in this case, this is the gradient. And for the gradient, we use letter M. So M is 2. Okay? Then we're asked to find, so that was part 1. For part 2, we're asked to find the y-intercept. Okay, so for the y-intercept, okay, we have the constant, and in this case, it is the minus 6, and we use the letter C. So, C equals minus 6. So... If we had to sketch that line, okay, so gradient is 2. Is it positive or negative? Positive. Mandish minus. I don't have a minus, so it's positive. And the positive line is like this. Not like this. It's like this. It's a 2. 2 is not bad. This is like 1. 2 is a bit more steep, okay? And it is going to pass through minus 6. So if I have the x's over here, this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. It's going to, to pass to the y-intercept minus 6. So when y is minus 6. And it's going to be a line like this one. And this is a sketch, okay? It's not an exact line. We don't need a graph. We don't need an exact table of coordinates. It's just a sketch. Next one. Now, I need to find the gradient. The gradient is the coefficient of x, and in this case, it's the minus 12, and we use the letter m. Now, what is the y-intercept? Do I have a y-intercept there? No, there's nothing plus something or minus something, so the y-intercept there is 0. And if it is 0... Okay, it means the coordinate is 0, 0. It is going to pass through the origin. This one, the coordinate was 0, minus 6. Don't forget, when it's the y-intercept, x is always 0. So if I had to plot this line, so it's going to pass through the origin. Okay, fine. But what about the gradient? The gradient over here is negative, and the negative gradient is like this, not like this. Negative gradient is like this, and it's a big number. So since it's a big number, it is very steep. Okay? It's going to be something like that. This is a sketch, don't forget. So I have x. I have the y-axis. It's passing to the origin. It's a negative, so going there, and very steep. 
you can also include the name of the line okay that's the origin zero next one this one here what is the gradient do i have any information regarding the gradient no because i don't have an x okay it's nothing it's zero so the gradient is zero and what does a zero gradient mean remember gradient is the steepness so if it's zero then it is not steep like this one zero gradient is like this it is not steep okay and this c is the constant in this case c y intercept over five so the coordinate would be they always the x would be zero the y is the y intercept okay because it's the y intercept so that is a line with gradient zero so this line okay and it's passing through number five the y intercept is five so when y is five from zero comma five let's say we have x and we have y it is passing through the y intercept five and it is a line with zero gradient so it's like a normal road without any steepness it is the line y equals five if i have y equals one it would be the line passing through y equals one Okay, if it's x equals 1, it will be passing through x equals 1. It will be like this. D. Okay, let me tell you what. I'm going to pause the video and I want you to try these two. But before you try them out, pay attention to this one. Okay, why? Because I need y to be subject of the formula always. So in this case, for y to be subject of the formula, I need to divide by 3. So over here, divide by 3. And over here, divide by 3. In the same way uh, that we did example 6 of last lesson. Okay? We need y on its own. So that's why 12 minus division by 3 is 4. Minus 6 division by 3 is sorry, minus 2x. Okay. And then you can find the gradient and the y-intercept. Try them out, okay? You have four minutes and draw a sketch as well.
Okay, so now that you tried them out, let's check them out. So you have to find the gradient. Gradient is the coefficient of x. So it's this one, minus 7.5. You have the y-intercept as well. And the y-intercept is c, and that is the constant, so it's 10. And the coordinate would be 0, 10. Okay, so that is a line with a negative gradient, so it's like this. It is a, a large number, 7.5, not as large as 12, but it's steep, okay? And it's passing through the y-intercept number 10. So if I have the x-axis over here, the y-intercept would be from number 10, and it would be a negative gradient with a steep line. And that's the line y equals 10 minus 7.5x. So this one. So for this one, don't forget, we have to make y subject. y equals always. The equation of a line, of a straight line, is y equals always. Now, the number in front of x is the, uh, the gradient, is m doesn't make a difference if it's written at the back or the first term, okay? It won't make a difference. So the gradient over there is minus 2, so it's negative, so like this again, but not a very big number, not a steep one, okay? It's just a little bit like that. And the y-intercept is the 4. We use the letter C, so the coordinate means... The coordinate is 0, 4. For the y-intercept, x is always 0, don't forget. And if I had to sketch that line, so it's negative, it's not too steep, and it passes from the positive 4. So I have x axis, y axis. It's passing through 4. This is a sketch, okay? It's a negative line, so like this, not too steep, not Okay, this is like number one, so number two would be a little bit like this. And you can write the equation of the line, which was 3y equals 12 minus 6x. So next page, we need to write the equation of a line. Okay, and now you know that the equation of a line is... The equation of a line is y equals mx plus c, okay? We're told that the gradient is 0 0.25. So instead of the, the m, because we know m is the gradient, we write 0 0.25. And the y-intercept is 2. So instead of c, we write plus 2. That's it. Okay, you will get these questions in the non-calculator. So the equation of a line is y equals gradient is 0 0.25. x and plus 2. That's it. Okay, that's the answer. Well, that is the answer. Okay? Now I want you to try these on your own. <coughs> Write a letter next to its respective graph. You have two lines over here, A and B. I need you to, th to think, which is the equation of line A? Which is the equation of line B? Similarly here, you have line C and line D. Which is the equation of line C? Which is the equation of line D? Okay? E, F, and G, H. So, let me do, do a random one. Let me do E and F, for example. Or, let me do E and F. So, let's have a look at this equation. Y equals 2x plus 1. Mela, let's start with the gradient. The gradient is positive, so the line should be like this. Okay, in this direction. Fine. Both of them in this, are in that direction, so I don't know. But I know that the y-intercept is a positive one. Now, the y-intercept of this one is positive because it's above zero. But the y-intercept of this one is negative because it is below zero. So this equation is of E, while this equation, which has the same gradient, and if they have the same gradient, they have the same steepness, so they are both parallel, but the y-intercept is a negative one. So that's the equation of F, okay? So do write this down. 
okay if they have same gradient it means they have the same steepness so lines are parallel okay so i want you to try these on your own just now you have just you can do it in four minutes okay and we'll check them out together that would be the lesson for today So let's check them out. This one, y equals x, it has one gradient, but this has a two gradient, which has this, the largest gradient. The largest gradient is this one. So since it is the largest gradient, it is more steep. And if we have a look at this, which is the steepest road, which is the most difficult to climb? 
this is the steepest this is steeper than this so it has a larger gradient okay so a is the steepest with the largest gradient and that is b these are also found in the non calculator okay so this one over here we have the gradient which is a positive 2 okay and this one over here has a negative 2 as a gradient they both have the same y intercept so they both pass through one and there it is they both pass through one but one has a negative and the other has a positive gradient don't forget positive gradient is like this and which of these lines is like that it's d this has a negative gradient so the line should be like that and which one of the those let's see this one here y equals x so that's gradient one passing to the origin like this so it's h y equals minus 2x minus mela negative and a bit steeper than one and that is g okay. so that's the lesson for today okay um, we talked about the, the the meaning of gradient and y intercept and we also Okay, talked about the equation of a line, which is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Next lesson, uh, we're going to plot quadratic graphs, and we have uh, some examples over there. Okay, so if you have any problem, do not hesitate to contact me. Okay, thanks for watching.